What's good? It's RJ. Um, we are going to be going over some football games. So, yeah. First video. This is going to be awkward as hell. Um, probably shouldn't say that. Yeah. All right. Yeah, let's get into it. Okay. Um, the first game was Buffalo versus LA. Um, I mean, you've probably already seen people go over this thing already. It was a blowout. Buffalo looks incredible. Uh, LA, eh, the Rams, they need, they didn't show anything. They need to show something. They didn't give the ball to Akers, didn't give the ball to um, Robinson at all. Um, if they want to win games, they got to distribute that more. Cooper Cup is amazing, but you need to spread that ball around a little bit more to win yourself a game. Um, Jalen Ramsey, still best corner in the league. Yeah, he looked terrible, but I think he, there was also some miscommunication on the safety side uh, with Ramsey. Um, so I think they'll be fine, but terrible showing from the Rams. Uh, Buffalo just looked incredible. Gabriel Davis picked up right where he left off. Uh, Stephon Diggs is that guy, pal. Um, yeah, and Josh Allen is looking like MVP. So, if you don't like it, move along. I'm a Pats fan, so he's MVP. If you don't agree with that, you're just delusional. All right, next we have the Saints and the Falcons. This was... It was looking sketch for the Saints. It was looking real sketch. They were... I don't know. They weren't looking too hot, but then they had a really good fourth quarter. Um, Winston... Once had a pretty good game, right? I, I would say. Um, what, 23 for 34, 269, two touchdowns, zero interceptions. Pretty good. Taysom Hill, still using him. I guess he's still a guy. Um, Kamara, not not too much of a game, not too much uh, going on there. Um, Jarvis Landry was, Jarvis Landry was definitely, he was the talking point for this game. Jar Jarvis Landry, seven receptions for 114 yards. He looked great. And there's a reason why he's still on a team. He's not the fastest guy, but the guy can run a route and he can catch a football. Uh, Michael Thomas also had a, he had a pretty decent game as well. Um, yeah, I mean, this game just, it really just came down to the wire. Uh, Mariota, too. Uh, 20 for 33, 215. Mario did okay. He's just, you know, it's Marcus Mariota. You're going to get what you get from him. You're going to get some running. 12 for 72 and one touchdown. That's where he's gonna he's gonna thrive. Maybe he'll throw a ball, catch it back, and score a touchdown as well. Um, but the real the real MVP on this team, Cordero Patterson, 22 carries for 120 yards and one touchdown. This dude's 30. This dude's 30 years old doing that. What? 22 for 120 and a touchdown? I did not realize it was that. I mean. Luckily, whoever I face in fantasy, they benched him, so I didn't have to deal with all that, even though I still lost. Uh, receiving. Yeah, I mean, it's Mariota. You're not going to get the best receiving uh, receiving stats. Olamide Zacchaeus, 4 for 49. Pitts only 2 for 19. Yeah, I mean, this. They're going to have to show more on the Falcons receiving end. Mariota's going to have to throw that a little bit better, but, I mean, I guess if you have Patterson going for a 120 and a touchdown. I don't know. Maybe it'll win a few games, but clearly you have to do a little bit more where you're going to lose by a point. Um, so, yeah, Saints and Falcons. Saints, I think they're going to be pretty good. I can see the Saints as a as about like a 10-win team maybe. Falcons, I, the Falcons definitely showed some promise. I'll, I'll say that. The Falcons definitely, they had a little bit of something going, but they're going to have to show a little bit more. The, it's, I mean, it's the first game of the season. They're going to have to get Brian Edwards involved a little bit more. Um, Drake London too. And what was that show London stats? Why don't they have Drake London on here? But Drake London, he had, what he had, what five receptions for seventy something yards. So I mean, pretty good, pretty solid performance for him for his first game. Um, I think he's gonna be a stud. Uh, him and Kyle Pitts, if they get a real quarterback, then they're gonna be doing pretty good. If they don't have a running back, a quarterback pretty good tandem so i'd watch out for them in the future but as of now the falcons i think they'll probably win maybe three games but uh, they looked okay but i have to show a little bit more than what they did 